Alan. Oh, that's it? Sorry, I was busy, uh, busy kissing feet in there? No, not me. No. Not me. What's not that? You. you were busy admiring my boobs, I please, Vic. I can't even see them from here. They're covered up. Uh, I, uh, you know, you think all men are sleazebags and stupid and terrible. You are really one of them. You're, you're a bigot. You're a bigot. You're a man-hater. You're a man-hating yeah. wench. Yeah, you're but a, I admit it. I admit it. You're just a, a repulsive pig. Because you hate, because of your hatred for men. Uh, you're the reason that men... Uh, you're, real, you're really, you're really lowering yourself now. You're calling me names. I haven't called you any names. Oh, sure you have. What have I called you? What name has she called me? I ain't called... What? Pervert. pervert. You call me a pervert. Big deal. Big deal. All right, so Big listen. Deal. You're scared of me. I'm sure you... You're scared of me. You're trying to fight back. You're, you're throwing you know, your you know arms what? into the you know wind. Think, you don't know Kelly? what to do with me. You know what me. I think, Kelly? I think I'm you falling mean... in love with you. Oh. All right. I think now, I'd like to, okay, now you're telling the truth. I think I'd like. <laughs> I think I'd like to. I think I'd like to be the man to, to break that ten-year vow of celibacy. Did well, you? Tom Selleck tried. Oh, he did. Couldn't get anywhere. What happened? I wouldn't let him. Wait, how did you meet Tom Selleck? I met him in Hawaii. He called me up and asked me to come to the studio, and I went there, and I was in love with him. I was madly in love well, with why him. Why wouldn't you go to bed with him? Because I'm celibate. So I what? love the Blessed Mother more than any man. More than Tom Selleck? That's right. And he's got my fetish, hairy body and everything, mustache, hairy body. That's your thing, huh? Yeah, I love it, love it. So we'd never, uh... Love hairy men. never hairy men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only hair I got's on my head. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you, uh, have uh, had other celebrities who have, uh, yes, come on to you? Yes, there's been a few or? other celebrities. Some of them were married, though, but, uh, wanted to have sex with me, and I was in love. I've been in love with a lot of men. I fall in love about twice a year. Yeah, what happened? You, do you don't act on it? I don't have sex, but I usually act like an idiot when I'm in love, and it's better for me to be tough and hard as nails and not to be in love. So what do you do when really you're in love? Around. I act, I don't act as mean. I'm not as mean. That's, that's, I don't like myself when I'm in love because I'm too nice. What's wrong with being nice to a no man? no good. You've got to be tough. What's wrong with being nice to a guy? You've got to be guy? tough. Push men around. Put them in their place. Harry, sure Make you them know, crawl. as you know, Harry, this is a sick human being, right, Harry? <laughs> Kelly is anything but sick. <laughs> yeah. This is a man who likes to kiss her shoes and feet and has to have his voice disguised when he comes on the radio. So we've you... got a job because we've got a, we've got a bigoted society yeah. that doesn't let men sub subserve women. Had other talk show hosts teach you, uh, Kelly? Bob Grant was a bum. He's a hypocrite. He's what? a puny little old creepy little weasel. What? <laughs> when I was on his show, let me tell you something. Yeah. He tried to persuade me to interview me topless. You want to do it here? Well, you've been so nice. I should, shouldn't I? Yeah, you, you should. You only called me every name in a book. I should take off my top and let you get an erection from me, right? Happen, yeah, don't worry about that. It won't happen? No. You never get an erection from seeing naked women with huge boobs? Not women like you who I can't stand. Uh, come on, make up your mind. <laughs> just because you, have a, your mind. Hey, just you have a pair of breasts, okay. that doesn't make you, you know... Okay, Bob Grant, let me tell you something about him. He is a coward. He acts like he's a tough macho man. And that's what I'll tell you about macho men. They are phonies. He tried to persuade me to do the show topless. I was talking about decriminalization of prostitution on his show. He never attacked me on the air. When I got, when I got off the air, I posed topless with him just to make the pervo happy. <laughs> then he took me to all the executives in the building and showed them my breasts. Tom, and you, I complied you, with you, Why did you parade around your Because I was that. trying to make the, the weasel happy. Why would you the, do that then? The, the puny just, little weasel. Why? You, you said you hate men. Why would you allow yourself well, to be paraded around topless to the executives at ABC? For what reason? Well, I made a mistake. The point well, is... Well, well the but you, you didn't is, put yourself in a very good position by doing that. Let me finish. The point is then when, after he looks at my boobs and admires them, for the next two days he attacked me behind my back on the air when I could not defend myself. Now that's what I call a coward, a hypocrite, and a weasel. Oh, you, and I would love to have another face-to-face -face with him. Seems to me you put yourself in that position. You uh, allow yourself to post See, topless with him. you always blame the woman. The guys that's at you fault, went along, you, you blame consented. the woman. You're Try a consenting to make this adult. Jerk you consent. Why? Because he's a. You can't Try say that word on happy. the air. Hey, you. Breast freak. Okay. So, so you you consented to uh, you consented to go on uh, his show. And then you can send it to, to take your top off. Look, and I, pose with, for a picture with him. Well, that's then you the can nice. Send it, then you can the send I it wasn't to doing the dominant woman bit. I was I was talking about feminism, decriminalization, of prostitution. If I had been the mistress, I wouldn't have consented to anything. And then you can send it to go is, around and show yourself the topless. Nerve. Look, there's nothing wrong with my body. My body is sacred. Well, fine, I will show my body to men when they're nice. You're consenting adult. You know, there's nothing wrong with my body. I could sh I could go naked down the street. It's society that, that stops me. Well, if you really believe what you say, go ahead and do it. Let him put you in prison. No, Fight I don't want to go to prison. Come on, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> but you allowed him to show you, parade you naked around ABC. Yeah, I did. I, 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 we went to every office, and all the execs admired my beautiful breasts. 
And then what did I get for it? I got attacked for what two did, days. What did and he didn't tell the audience that he made me show my boobs on the air. He didn't tell them. You don't show you on radio. You can't. You don't show them. Show right. him. That's kind He's of like working on speculation. It, the same thing happens to me. You do a freebie for somebody. Yeah. And they take advantage. They took advantage. A freebie? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, but you considered to have your... have one man... You wanted to have your... Support. You wanted to walk around ABC with your breasts exposed. You make them happy. Are you why? kidding me? It why would, make... If you hate men, why do you want to make them happy? At that time, I wasn't hating men as oh, much. Oh, oh, what happened People to... People like him made me hate men. Don't oh, you understand? Bob Grant that was two years ago. I only started hating him a year and a half ago. You only started hating men a year and a half yeah. ago? Yeah. Why? What happened a year and a half I ago? I went into the dominant woman biz. I started studying history and religion and oh, everything. This is and all stick with you then. You just hate men because it's good for business. No, I just, I always, look, I've always had grudges against men for all the evil they've done. Lately, I have learned the truth. I know right. why I hate them. Let's see who's on our phone. It's not just what, that they've hurt me. The I know NBC. that they've hurt all women. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm Ned's wife. Hi. Help me out with this. I'm Hi, not honey. getting the message across. You know. <laughs> How you doing? What are we I just to wanted to point out um, that because you have a uh, sexual perversion of one sort, it doesn't necessarily mean that it includes... Uh, a lot of the other perversions that you're talking about. Uh, for example, the uh, submission and dominance part isn't really part of Ned and my sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, I do phone sex on the phone, and so I know I have an intimate knowledge of you, submission you, and dominance. You do stuff. phone sex with other men? On the phone. Well, Ned, why would you uh, sit by while your wife is having sex on the phone with other men? Why would you... Uh... Every time that phone rings, it's like the old cash register door going ka-ching, ka-ching, going, what can I do? So it's just, well, what can you do? I mean, you, not everything is money in this world, right? But well, you don't understand. An, it's an art form. It's, it's, it's improv. All I'm talking about, all I'm saying in, in that sense is that I understand there are a lot of definitions in my mind, personally, about what is, uh, in the abstract, submission and dominance in the abstract, and what happens, what works in one's personal life. Now, I, I guess I'm fairly... Uh, dominantly in general, but I don't play the I don't play the games. You know, I, I you know it, it occasionally you know I've I've gone to a club, an S&M club with friends, and there's there's certain strict rules and mm -hmm. there's a vocabulary, a language one talks, and that isn't part of my relationship with Ned. And indeed, with a lot of fat women, fat, you know, just because one a man has a um, fetish for fat women doesn't mean that he also expects to be crushed or dominated by them. A lot of it is an aesthetic. Ned likes to touch me. He likes to caress my body. He likes, he just likes the way, you know, it gives him some sort of satisfaction to see, uh, to see my roundness and to see how I'm filled up. Now, I've talked to other men on the telephone who are into big women, and uh, they have a tendency to have their own personal you know, interpretation of what that fetish is, too. Like, some women, some men like the sound of flesh rubbing on flesh, you know, and some men have a different feeling. But it's it's surprising how many, few men who ask for a fat woman, like in a phone sex fantasy, uh, want to have a woman who's necessarily um, muscular or dominant. I mean, they're really two separate fetishes, I hope. Right. Well, I, I just wondered if, uh, because of your size, there are certain things uh, in the relationship which take place because... Uh, Ned is much smaller than you, and therefore, there might be a dominant factor simply because of the physical differences between the two of you. Well, like what? Uh, Ned, you alluded to that earlier, didn't you? You said that uh, certainly because of the size of your wife, uh, certain things uh, are so. <clears throat> is that correct? Yes, Alan, yes. Like what? What do you, now, can you... Now, I'm on the spot. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember what you said earlier, yeah. and I, I don't... Can you, can you tell me what you meant by that? Hmm... Are, oh boy, dead air here. Are we talking mm -hmm. about sex or about the general? Yeah, he ends up doing a lot of normal, chores right, because sometimes chores, you get out yeah. of breath. Huh? He ends up doing quite a few chores because you get out of breath sometimes. Right. You have to carry groceries home and whatnot, sort of Absolutely. like a slave. And there is a certain amount of, I am not going to deny it, there's a certain amount of both admitted and uh, unadmitted submission and dominance in that. Mm -hmm. Because if Ned wasn't pleased with me being as big as I am, he wouldn't do all those things for me. I'm just saying that the, the normal rules, like when I'm a mistress on a phone sex call, I'll say to my, um, you know, my, to my slave, I'll say, uh, you know, uh, you are totally unworthy of me, and you will grovel at my feet and kiss my toes and 
uh, show me, prove to me that you are, can be a good little slave and all that stuff. That's not the kind of, that kind of ritualistic speech doesn't have any place in my relationship with my husband. You know, I, I, I'm more likely to say, please, you know, will you do this for me or do that for me or something like that. All right. I uh, thank you very much for calling today. Sure. All right. Uh, See, she's got slaves. Why don't you attack her? Why do you only attack me, huh? Because you're obnoxious. Yeah, you want women to submit, huh? Hey, Alan, you how you doing? doing? She's not a man-hater like you are. She's how not do a you bigoted... Know? Maybe she'll not admit it. Yeah. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. I agree with you 100% on this lady's uh, views. I think that if a uh, man and a woman love each other, they shouldn't have to want to serve each other in a way that, you know, one is dominant over the other. Um, this woman really has some very deep problems that need to be examined by someone. Yeah, my problem is you. No, lady, your problem is yourself because, see, something must have happened to you in life that made you hate men so much. Yeah, men are obnoxious. No, men are not obnoxious. Men and women who love each other, love each other so that... But ha what men them. love women? Why is this a male supremacist world if men love women? Thank God so many women huh? have called up today and said that you set the movement back because you are one of the worst spokespeople for women that I've ever met. That's what she you think, weird. baby. She's Say that to me 10 years from now when I got 40% of the men begging to be dominated. 10 years from now, I'm the future, baby. The only men that want to be dominated are men that belong in institutions. <laughs> you belong and that's who you belong with. Men who want to be in institutions like you should be. <laughs> you should all get together and... Ha, ha, ha. Nice to Girl, I'm glad you're suffering. I'm glad you hate me. Baby, Just I ain't suffering. Suffer. I'm one of the happiest suffer, men you in the fool. world. Suffer. And I, I hope you're miserable, anyone like you idiot. Anyone. I don't think anyone who's normal or educated needs anybody like you. And you should rot in hell. Baby. All right, thank you. You, you, you. you can't get any, can you? You're a frustrated pervert. Oh, if someone doesn't like you, all of a sudden Nobody they can't get any? Nobody doesn't want you. If somebody doesn't like you, they can't get any? You, you can't get it from anybody. Well, this future business. Now, I wanted to say that uh, like half the teenagers in the high school now are fat, and we're going to have a lot of fat people in the 90s, and so we've got to learn to appreciate them. I agree with this man this who afternoon. loves fat women because this is part of my argument. This thing about skinny women, thin women, is because men want women to be weak. The thinner, the littler you are, the easier they can rape you and dominate you and hurt you. Women should oh, be no. big, they should be muscular, they should be Women heavy. should be whatever they are. But there should be no prejudice against big women, heavy Who women, Who the hell are you to talk about women. prejudice, you bigot? You hate men, you want to be dominant, you think you're superior? I am a backlash. You're a man -hater. I'm a backlash against male supremacists. This is a male supremacist world. You've got a problem. You've got you a big chip on your You want to dominate women, you men, get ready for a dominant woman because you're going to get it back from a dominant woman. I'm the first woman in the world that has ever spoken up against men. You're not men. the first woman in the world to speak like this. Yes, yes. I am the first woman. Hopefully you're the last. WNBC. No, I'm the future, baby. Yeah, hello. I'm the future. I'd like to know ask uh, Kelly a question. Go ahead. Uh, how does one go about meeting a dominant woman in, in the regular... Dominant mystique, fetish times, corporal, gent, nugget, cavalier, and fling. I'm in all those magazines. Can I... Uh, I have about uh, ten friends, too. Excuse me? I have a, about ten dominant I'm women friends. I'm amazed at that many friends. Well, well I would like to say that Alan's treating you very unfair. Yes, no, thank unfair. you. She's, she's trying to dominate the show. She's got plenty of time to express her point of view, and I find her to be rather obnoxious. When a woman said I should be put to sleep, he cut me off so I, I couldn't that. answer her. No, you answered, but you wouldn't give her a chance to respond. She didn't no. deserve to. All right, Harry, you want to say something? You, you yeah. can also go to the Oil and Spiegel Society on Monday nights at 25 East 4th Street, I believe. All right. Yeah, it's Paddle's Voice. All right, thank you. Uh, 636 yeah. WNBC.